You're now tuned into Sykes Weekly Nerf Dosage. Okay, I'd like to introduce you guys to this fella called Hassan, aka Backspacer. And uh, he's got basically the most efficient way that you should holster a triad. Let me just... <laughs> That's really cool, huh? <laughs> Epic, bro! You have a LBV, you can also fit it inside like <laughs> these. What you might call it? Molly. The Molly. The Molly. Yeah. yeah. Take one down, take one up. Yeah, I thought of it. Nice. Bro, Kasilu satu like. <laughs> like many, many. Like many, many. <laughs> hey, what's up, good people? Welcome to episode 62 of Pwned. I look really tired because we just finished the HVZ game today and it's really late at night. But uh, I'll just get into the annotations first before I start telling you stuff. Alright, so for the first part, the first annotation is just me giving you some updates. Uh, the second part will be. Um, about uh, this new, I guess this improvised, no, this improved Nerf Zombie Strike holster that I want to share with you guys. And uh, of course, I'd like to talk a little bit about Area 503. So that'll be like, you know, uh, two small items in one segment. And then the last annotation over here will be about uh, the Human vs. Zombies game that just ended today. Alright, so click away on the annotations. Uh, before you guys click, I mean, with the annotations still here, I'll just say that. Um, this footage, you know, it, it did happen today, but I don't know when this episode will be released. You know, I gotta have some time that I did and stuff, so yeah, pardon me for that. Alright, so uh, let's just start off with the information that I wanted to share with you guys. I wanted to say that I almost finished the Elite Deploy, okay? Um, I had to sacrifice the transforming part or the, the Deploy action for the top part area over here. I mean, it's good for me because I'm left-handed, so uh, it still works very much this way. Um, if you guys take a peek on the inside, you can see that there's a orange colored elite plunger and I actually took that plunger um, from, I, I guess the plunger tube from an alpha trooper, elite alpha trooper and I kind of screwed up on the catch part at first so I did a lot of tweaking, a lot of adjustment, I had to cut out some slots over here, uh, hooked up my own, uh, I guess homemade kind of uh, attachment to move the whole breech and I uh, used a Orange Mod Works 5kg spring or the Elite spring because you know the air delivery system isn't that fantastic in a deploy right? but um, because of that right uh, I think I kind of screwed the trigger and the catch system up a bit so I might I guess I might have to make my own catch plate I don't know what out of yet but it's working in a way uh, it catches but I can't really fire it. The good thing is that there's an empty slot over here so I can actually use a screwdriver to kind of release the catch so you guys can see. But I'll just go ahead and prove it to you guys, okay? I have a six dart clip with uh, two elite darts on the inside. Let me just... You guys have a look. So, it, okay, it primes like that as you can see. Uh, it chambers very nicely. However, as you can see, the trigger doesn't work. So I have to use a screwdriver and I have to lift up the catch so I'm gonna kind of yank it up with like a lever or lever and I'm gonna fire it there okay so here's the first uh, here's the first shot okay so that's the first one and then uh, I'll chamber the second one there you go Can't seem to be uh, releasing the catch. Give me one moment, guys. Now I just changed. I'll be using this. I need something a bit more flat, so I'll be using. Yeah, this looks like it's gonna work better. Better teasers because it's a little bit more narrow. Okay, here we go. Oh, looks like it's not working. There we go. So second one out. Um, yeah, I guess I have to find ways and means to kind of tweak the whole catch and trigger system, but all in all, uh, it's almost there. Um, yeah, so it was a pain in the ass, but I managed to get it to work and I uh, still falls back into the original, you know, uh, closed up stealth mode system thingy. Uh, too bad I couldn't be, you know, I, I wasn't able to get it to work before today's HVZ. I really wanted to rock this thing at HVZ, but uh, I guess not. So, yeah, so this is one of the updates that I wanted to share with you guys. Uh, the next little update is that actually today at HVZ, 
uh, some of the other nerfers, especially the mods, they were actually carrying the crossfire uh, by the zombie strike line, and I, I was, I guess, I was uh, pleasantly informed by Nubi that the crossfire apparently that I got along with him has no crossfire markings on the side, so that points to the possibility that maybe the crossfire that the both of us have is a pre-production model because everyone else's crossfire actually bears the name of the crossfire on the side. Uh, I will try and see if I can get my hands on a correct or a, uh, I guess, a retail version of the of the crossfire and I'll put it for side-by-side -side comparison for you guys to see. Yeah. Yeah. I guess that's all for the updates right now. Let's move on to the next part where I actually want to talk to you about the Zombie Strike holster, yeah? Before we begin, I just want to let you guys know that I did previously review the official Nerf Zombie Strike uh, you know, rifle sleeve before and I'm gonna put the annotation somewhere about here so that you guys, you guys can go click and refer if you want. But here is a improved version of it and this Source, the source of it I will not tell you unfortunately, but it's based off the original Hasbro one, or I would say the Retro Play one, and um, remember all those flaws that I pointed out? Well, the person who did it already fixed those flaws. Uh, the cool thing is that there's actually a little pouch over here that holds a 12 dart mag, um, just so you guys know. Uh, it's, it's, it's made that for that mag over here. And uh, some improvements I'll show to you guys. I have a long shot inside, so you can see that it's sitting very nicely. And uh, there's no way that the long shot's coming out. You can tell. I can even flip it up this way, and the long shot won't even drop out much because of this Velcro strap over here. So let's just get this out, take the long shot out, like so. Okay, I'll get to the long shot in a short while, but I'll talk more about this uh, little rifle, uh, I guess, sleeve or rifle holster. Alright, so you have one Velcro strap on the top over here and one Velcro strap on the side. This is your normal strap that goes around you, on the shoulder, you know, around your shoulder like that, so you can sling it across. There is another Velcro strap over here, so you can actually fold it up to be half size if you need, much like the original one. The slot over here has been widened, as you guys can see, it's not so thin anymore, so that's pretty good. It allows for a lot more blasters to fit in comfortably, as you could have tell, I mean, I mean as you could have seen from having the long shot on the inside. Now the biggest improvement will be this one over here. This whole area is velcroed so that you can actually have you know, uh, your hand going in to fire the blaster this way. Uh, you know, prior to this, they had a little slot like that where you could try and shove your mag in for the rapid strike. Speaking of which, I have another version of this holster which is essentially the same thing, just in different color. And this person actually did it for me in my favorite color. So I have to say thank you. It's a rapid strike in a red version of the uh, holster. Right, so as you guys can see, I can actually hold the rapid strike this way if I wanted to and I could open up this area so that I could easily change my mag. So you see that, right? Prior to this, it was so difficult to fit the mag in and out but now with this thing, it's going to be easier to access. So technically, uh, the my comment of being able to fire you know, or operate the whole rapid strike with the blaster still inside the holster, well, it's possible now. So you just change your mag this way, you can still rev up, as you can see, you can still rev up the thing and squeeze the trigger, fire. So this is pretty good. Uh, this one also has the 12 dart clip pouch over here. It's made of a slightly different material, it feels more like canvas, in fact it feels a bit like my North Face bag. But yeah, it serves its purpose and it's really good. So I just wanted to share this with you guys. Um, please check the video description below. Uh, I have yet to get permission from this person uh, whether I could you know, mention his or her name. So once I do, uh, it'll go into the video description below. If you guys don't see any, any links to the, in, in the description about this holster, then well, that person hasn't given me the clearance yet because technically this is considered a bootleg, I guess. I don't know, but it's a, it's a modified version of the original holster and it's way better. It's much more improved. So yeah, I wanted to share it with you guys. Going back to my long shot, as you guys can see, now I've got this like really really lime yellowish color, kind of a jam door. But if you look at it this way, you'll see my name, Psych. Now this was actually custom made by Area 503, aka Jai, or Area 503 Hobbies. You can uh, check the video description for a link to the Facebook page. But 
Uh, this is one of the newer products that came out. Uh, this is a long shot jam door and it's got slight improvements over other third party jam doors like for example, uh, Slidef. Slidef has a really mean jam door, it's really cool. Uh, I, I don't think I have Slidef's one here. Do I? No, I don't have it around, I'm sorry. But um, Slidef's one actually featured the cool Slidef Fox logo and it has some like peak holes on the top. This, you can actually customize. Uh, you gotta hit him up on Facebook though, put whatever you want. And uh, the original one that he showed me featured the whole Star Wars Rebel Alliance uh, logo and that one was the one that blew me away. So I kind of sent him this font text and I told him, hey, do you think you'd be able to do one for me in this font? And he went ahead and did it and I thought it was really cool. Now what's nice is that there's actually another notch over here, so it's easier for you to, you know, open up the uh, jam door whenever, you know, your blast is primed. So let me give you an example. It gives it a little groove so that you can easily pull it, as you can see. Right, and uh, it has that notch over there, so yes, it closes too when you, when you close it up. So, once again, right, so this is the quote unquote fluorescent yellow color. It does, however, look very much greenish, and it very much also, I keep using the word very much today, I'm sorry, it really reminds me of when I was a child, right, during my childhood, I used to have those little squirt guns from those uh, little convenience stores, and they were in the same color now, let me show you what I mean. Just reminds me of these kind of squirt guns. You guys remember this? This is like throwback, man. This is old school. But uh, these used to cost like what, 20 cents to 50 cents? You just pop the cap over here, fill up with water, and then go out and squirt your friends. Squirt your friends. Don't. Just don't. But yeah, okay, so yeah, color comparison, as you guys can see, I really like this colorway. It's, it's so neon, it's so retro, it's just so nostalgic. And I thought that. You know, this colorway was pretty cool. I'll show you another colorway, which is the clear red, and I got it right here. This used to be sitting on the red, um, uh, the red one used to be sitting on the blue long shot over here, but as you guys can see, it's a red version of the uh, jam door. This is the notch that I was talking about, so your finger goes here and it helps you to pull the jam door back. Now, there are other products that Area 503 does, so <coughs> if you guys are interested, especially if you're in Singapore, I mean, you can hit him up for the Universal Breach because that's his main. Uh, main seller selling product um, go check him out on Facebook send him a message or something and then get your own jam door if you like yeah it's pretty sturdy it's pretty good and uh, I really like this product so big ups to Area 503 for doing this yeah now on to the next part of the video yeah as you guys can see I am pretty worn out today I am really tired now it's been a long time since I had a, had a long day under the sun you know Humans is a zombies and uh, I've got a sunburn so battle scars to mark it out see it's white and then it's red <laughs> I even got a bit of sunburn on my nose and part of my neck but uh, um, I fought really hard I fought really hard so I want to say a big thank you to Spectre the team Spectre for having me in their group in their, in their squad I wouldn't have made it that far without you guys because all of you guys have really strong military thinking and uh, you guys plan your formations well and all your tactical movements is really good and I really enjoyed myself because it really reminded me of back in the day when we used to go for army training. It was like, let's just go to this corner, let's just prone down, let's just high kneel and stuff. It's really cool. Um, I went in not as prepared as the rest of them did, but they really covered me and uh, they even helped me out. Especially Nerf B, thank you man um, for helping me with my whole chest rig and everything. Uh, Looney helping me with uh, setting up and how and teaching me how to put on my chest rig and stuff. It was cool. Um, we lost Looney at the first part, you know, after the first couple of hours, just before lunch, and it was kind of sad. Uh, yeah, but but all in all, I, I think it was really fun. Um, I lasted all the way until <coughs> the last stand or the last run, and then I kind of died. Yeah, I got I got turned at the last moment, so it was a little bit sad, but. Uh, the game saw a whopping 130 odd, it was even more than 130 um, uh, you know, participants. The game started off with two original zombies and at the end of the game there were only two survivors. And I'm proud to say that the ultimate zombie is none other than my friend Derwey. Hey Derwey, good job man. He was the original zombie but he really went all out. Uh, yeah, so I guess I'll just cut all the banter and uh, I'll just show you guys all the footage that I have. There are some random footage that you guys might find funny, but I'll try to kind of put it in uh, chron chronological order so that you guys can roughly tell what's going on, yeah? Hi, good morning. 
before we start HVG today, we are at McDonald's. <laughs> we have to have our breakfast. And I'm <laughs> joined by a team of very friendly people today. Yeah. <laughs> we all we all need like our McDonald's or whatever you call it. You call it McD's, you call it Macca's, but this is what we call it in Singapore. We call it Max. Yeah, yeah, Menona. Menona works too. Menona. I'll spell it out for you on the screen, okay? <laughs> yeah. So um. Well, apparently my my squad mates are kind of stressing me out because I haven't loaded my ducks to my clips yet. <laughs> it's I'll do it very soon. So I'll catch you guys later. Of course, I don't think I'll be uh, updating you guys a lot when I'm actually in game for obvious reasons. So let's just see how it goes. Bye. Hey guys, I'm walking over to the HQ. I don't have my wide angle lens, but uh, um, you can see there's quite a lot of people here. However, my team is actually over there. You know, see that bunch of people over there. That's where we are, kind of setting up. Uh, this is the main uh, mod HQ and this entire field here is the play field. So it looks like it's going to be really fun. Anyway, I'm looking for people. I got some stuff to pass to them and this guy waving is Ben. Yeah, I don't know if you can hear. No, I don't want to pick up the dot. I don't know if you can hear but uh, yeah, we're, I turn on the camera halfway through the game. Uh, Nobi has turned. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry guys, I won't fire you guys. Okay? Fingers off the trigger. Finger off the trigger, finger off the trigger, don't worry, I won't fire you. I'm recording, I'm recording. Say hi. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, BS is behind. Hey, uh. NTS, we're going to wait for a while. Wait for a while. Hmm. Hey, come on, come on, be back! <laughs> come on, come on! Spartan! Luni, come on, come on! <laughs> That's backspacer for you. <laughs> hey, he dropped his comms. Come on, Spot, come on, Spot. <laughs> Those are the zombies, right? Yeah, yeah, come on, let's go. Uh. Yeah, have you had Is everything okay, bro? Yep. Camera's on, like, but no fire, you are. Like. Yeah, on the back? Yeah, we are 10 10 6. So we have uh, regrouped at this group over here. I'm gonna turn off my camera for a while because it's kind of intimidating. I seem to be the only guy carrying a modded long shot. <laughs> so it's quite scary. Dang, dang, dang. This is Nubi. He's been turned. He's been turned. <laughs> you can, you can, you can. Yeah. 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 You wanna fight again? Where you go fight again? 15 seconds Really? Not too many, man? Bro, are you okay? okay. No! Hey! Ma! Nubi! You got 15 seconds respawn! Move! Nubi got a 15 seconds respawn! No, let's go, let's go, let's go! No, the problem is, bro, he's making us waste our ammo on him. He's got a 15 second respawn. He's gonna keep coming towards you. Yeah, yeah, we have the split. Spectre, Spectre, move one side, Spectre, move one side, move one side, Spectre, one side. Spectre!
Hey, it's back down here, review, come on! Now using a front facing camera this time around, uh, we are about one, two hours into the game. One, one hour, yeah, one hour into the game. All of us are tired. Uh, we finished the first drop box. We kind of tried to look for a scientist, but we couldn't find shit. Us an Indian man, but he wasn't. Oh, that's racist. I scared him. I scared him. <laughs> I, according racist. according to Nivek, I scared him to death because he took out his work permit. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not making this up. Shit, he had his work permit in his Yeah, yeah, yeah I saw. All learned and work permit. We look like shit, people. I feel yeah. bad. Uh, but yeah, so far it's been quite fun. Um, I'm very proud to announce that as of the first hour, none of us have turned. So that's Yet. very good. Hopefully we'll stay this way all the Full way until... Strength, people! Yeah, all the way until throughout the whole game. Okay. Alright. Uh, yeah, wait for a second drop box. Hey, leave it, leave it. We go this way. We go this way now, now, now. Now, we go this way now, now, now. NDS. NDS. Look out. Find a location where we are. Hey, zombies, come in here, zombies, come in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Move, move, move. Fall back, fall back, fall back. Fall back. Hey, go, 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 go. Coming towards us, red headband, yeah. zombie. Go, 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 go. Don't shout, don't shout, don't shout. We just, we just, we just, don't shout. I'm left hand, you all go right hand. Thanks. 
I'm not even going for this one. Just fire, just fire, just fire. Okay, okay, down, down, down. Tight, very tight. Okay, enough, enough, enough. Enough, enough. Keep going, keep going. Keep walking, keep walking. Hey, right, guys, guys, guys. Dropbox 2 is out. C2. C2 and D5, E5. C2 and in between D5, E5. Yeah, D5, E5 was there. C2, C2, D5, E5. Okay, that's Wait, we are at we are at now B five right? We are B five now. D five five. Let's go this way. Shit. This is not a safe zone, guys. It's not a safe zone. D7 is just there. D7 is just there. D7 is just there. No, not yet. Last time is half an hour. 12 30. 12 30 is last time. We have to get to the drop box there. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, I go check behind the tree first. Yo, 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 yo. Okay, clear. The computer, the computer. They are the safe zone. Go to our safe zone. <laughs> right there. When you go down this path, you will see a blue coloured tent. That's where it is. Here's the catch. Here's the catch. The tent is square shaped. Each corner of the tent has a red flag. And if, 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 if the zombies get rid of all red flags, it's this one. Any one, right? Any one. Offer, offer. Okay? Wait, by the way, right. By the way, right. The other dropper is going to it. No. The other side. Going to walk today there. But we just put it here, right? Okay, this is the first one. There's the second one the other side. Right? You have to put both, right? You have to put both. Huh? There are three drop boxes in total. The first one which we did before the hour is up. And this this one and the other one right is the final two. You know what? Yeah. You know what? I'll put the first. Yeah, we'll put the first. But then this one's right. Yeah, we'll put the first. C2, C2. Bro, we'll chief again. Okay. Hey guys. Guys, 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 Here's the catch. The tent is square shaped. Each corner of the tent has a red flag. If the zombies remove all four red flags, the tent is gone. But as of now, inside it is a safe zone. You can put your stuff there, take a break, everything, no problem. But there are people defending all the time. Okay? Thanks. Okay, here we are. We are the next drop box. HVC drop box too. We got all our team members here. Unfortunately, Mark got turned. So here we go. John. NTS. Spartan. Be back. Me. Coming. Juni. This is in memory of Mark. This is for Mark. Mark, this is for you, bro. You got one for Leroy. I gotta check my pockets for more. Nuffy. Nuffy. For you. One more. Who's this? Cepat. Okay, we're safe. So we're going to head back now. There's another drop box that we have there. Alright, right, lunch is over and the game has started again. Uh, everyone is camping at the safe zone. I got a kill, man. <laughs> nice one. 
Yeah. Follow yeah, my camera. Nice, zombie. Hey, but hey, bro, this one. The dust long enough for the RS to fire not? Cause the dust is on the left. I'm done. Okay, lor. Yeah. Hey, Spartan, so happy. <laughs> no zombie, no. That's I am. Yeah, we have to defend this area for half an hour first before we can get to the next mission. So this is the area. Alright, zombie incoming. Incoming zombie. No, uh, shout out, man. Hey, shiny head, shiny head. Shiny head, shiny head. Now we have to check an email, right? It says. It's reloading first. I'm trying to get the light for you guys. Maybe you can see it on camera now. It says. Be warned. Be warned that our scanners show awkward zombie behavior. Zombies seem to be up to something. Go find out. Do not pick up. Remove. Hide any items you find. You may camp them. Yeah, go find out. Means uh, that I think the zombies, right, are not up to attack humans. No, wait. They, it could be a ploy to get us out of this area. It's up to us completely. What, what should we do? Yep. <laughs> video, video. Alright, man. So, uh, it's a bit after lunch and uh, the zombies overran the first base. Now the zombies have a, a new perk. They are able to use some tools. They have themselves a shield and a Megadot Blaster. And if humans get tagged by a Megadot Blaster, you are stunned indefinitely until either you get tagged by a zombie and turn or you get tagged by a human and get rescued. And uh, right now all we have to do is just wait for the next mission because there's nothing else we can do. Uh, the survivors from the first base have came out to our base now. Four survivors. There were, there were only four. And there's this, there's this motorcycle guy riding around in I don't know what he's doing. Where's the mod? There's a mod. It's a mod. Really? Yeah. How many of you have an HVZ game with a <laughs> motor motorbike? Is that is that dog a zombie or so? K9 K9 zombie. Welcome back. Kevin! It's fun. But it's tiring. So tiring man. So tiring. <laughs> Your husband. There's another zombie hawk coming up the hill. Must do this. Knee back, knee back, knee back! Knee back, knee back, knee back! Hey, Kevin! Look out, look out for the wild dog! <laughs> look out for the wild dog! <laughs> no, wild dog! <laughs> Hey BS, the doctor Hala BS. Hey BS, BS. <laughs> oh shit, I'm here. Oh shit. Oh no. No 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 no. Look out! 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 Shiny head! Shiny head! Shiny head! We have to make the shot count! We have to make the shot count! Oh, Megan, I'm coming! Oh, fuck, man, that's a zombie hot, man. Shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit, man! One shield and kill zombie behind! Bro, faster drink, faster drink! The shield is here! Maybe has the Magnus, they have the shield, 12 zombies behind the shield. Last 
fear, no fear, bro, no fear. No, stick together, you get stunned by the mega dark, right? At least have one person to help you. Yeah, yeah, that's right. You see the sort of hot? Yeah, I know. I can. <laughs> they might charge, they might charge. You gotta watch out. Eyes on the zombies! Eyes on the zombies! Just hold your position! Oh, it's a nice wind, but it's a bad situation. We can pick up the mega darts, don't forget. Nice. We do all the then we do all the Okay, let's go. I'm gonna make a run for it. We can face this dude. We gotta go. We gotta go, we gotta go. We gotta go, we gotta go. Ready? No way. Who gets come? Who gets come? Throw your, throw your, throw your, throw your, throw your, throw your, throw your. Are you ready or not? Ready! No, 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 it's not done. Ready, ready, ready. Run, okay? Run, deep, run. to break out of that hot attack just now. <laughs> Ned has joined the fray because that's all we have left for survivors, not much. A few teams scattered on the right and left and we're just taking a break and you can see like NTS is really taking a break. Hey, I'm your best engineer here. Engineering? We're all just taking a break. Yeah, Spot is going off by himself, I don't know why. He's always, he's always been like doing stuff on his own. He's a Ron Wolf. Ron Wolf? Hey, Ron Wolf? He's Scooby-Doo. Yeah, I bet he's gonna start taking out his, his phone soon. Oh, yeah. sure, you go alone. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> you should get this one person. I look really tired. I'm sorry, guys. I look really tired. It's okay, lah, hey, bro. I, I really don't want someone pointing a blaster in my ass when I'm peeing. Like. Yeah, I know. Who asked you to face him and... It's supposed to face the other way outside. Cover, right? Dangerous, lah. They don't have a million or one hundred thousand. It's not a good... Hey, brother. It, oh, no. Yeah, I got to leave ready as soon. Guys, guys. Okay, guys. Spartan's got eyes on one. Spartan got eyes on one.
Trailing out, trailing out. Stop, 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 stop. We cannot, we cannot, we cannot. This is the zombie ground. We got hair dryer, we're not afraid of using Mark your cordon, mark your cordon, mark your cordon. Shoot, 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 shoot. Hey, why are we breaking through? Why, why are we doing that? Why are we doing that? Why? Hey, hey, ready, hey, ready, hey, ready. Hey, what's up? Hey, stop, 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 stop. Yeah. Boy, you cannot. Uh, you cannot face it. You cannot face it. Come on, come on. You try, you try. Hey, no, no, wait. Okay, wait, wait. Hey, hey, hey. Your team, okay. Okay, I'm your team. Okay, okay. Then, welcome to the game. That's Mon, Hanzo. That's Mon. Hemi. <laughs> nice. So we got another kill. Bro, are you going to be ultimate zombie? Are you going to be ultimate zombie? Yes, bro! Be the ultimate zombie. No, I'm alive. Because I care for the zombie team. <laughs> Why? Then you will just see pink everywhere. You pick your favorite color, right? No, red is my favorite color, bro. Man. Everyone's like fighting out, and they just came at the other end of the map. It's okay. These are the people who fought real hard. These are the people who fought real hard. And then we have people who just camped out and waited. And it's all good. This is gonna be the last run. Um, due to fears of fatigue from the players, we. I guess the mods decided that they would cut the game short. The mods tired lah. Yeah, the mods tired also. Confirm lah. Confirm. 
<laughs> you see you in the front door, right? It's a walk in the park. <laughs> Literally. Yeah, but today was crazy fun. Now we're just waiting for the last uh, mission, which is the extraction mission. Then we have to see how it goes. Why so many? Why so many? Why so many? This is all we got left. We will be standing at each corner. So as I go out of line of sight, you You do that, So you know what to do, you can. guy. Hey, this is EY. And he's the main organizer for Universe you know, Zombie Singapore. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> yeah, thanks, man. Thanks for today's game. You're welcome. Yeah. Good job. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hi. We did, we did, we did. Very much. I died. I died, by the way. I died. Uh, right, the last ten. Uh, no, it's all. It's okay. It's no, no problem. <laughs> and then we have DT. He's also moderator for today. Sorry, that's your one kill. And you got this guy, Clement. Hello. You seen him before? And Clement yeah. died two minutes into the game. Yeah, I died two minutes. <laughs> He's the, game. the first zombie. <laughs> my OZ. Man, yeah. and this guy was the OZ. <laughs> this is the way. And uh, he has earned the title of the ultimate zombie for this game. <laughs> yeah, but you can see, right? Look at his hand, look at his hand. So he's got, and he's got this. He moonwalked into survivors. <laughs> moonwalked into survivors. Oh, yeah, yeah, you should, you show that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he had a shiny hat, right? He right. wears a shiny hat. Shiny hat. <laughs> he literally walked backwards and. You deserve it, man. You deserve the title of Ultimate Zombie. Yes. At the end of the day, okay, there were 131 players. I think total 131 signups. Is it? Uh, I'm sure there is more. Like. Oh, there's more. Okay, okay. Let's say for example, 100, 130 odd. And at the end of the day, there are only two survivors. <laughs> right. The massacre, man. There are only two survivors. Damn it. Best part. And the best part. Most of the shall I say. Professional or advanced level nerfers are all down. And these survivors are what we call amateurs. <laughs> Never <laughs> underestimate kids. Eh! Zombie! Zombie! Ah! <laughs> Good job, man. Well, so on hindsight, it really was really fun. Um, I never had this experience before it was a really good first experience and I'm looking forward to the next Human vs Zombies in Singapore. Granted that, uh, you know, it's the first time that you guys are organizing it so, well, big ups to EY and big ups to all the moderators for all their help and all the work that they put in. It's the first time that you guys are doing it. It's a really good job. That's what I could say. It's a really good job. Yes, there was, there was some, in EY's words, some frustrations here and there. But these kind of things are, I guess, unavoidable. Every game that you have, someone will, you know, get frustrated some way or another. And uh, as long as you guys keep doing it, you know, things are going to just work out. Uh, the most important thing to take back from today's game was the issue of safety. So, yeah, um, it's, it's really nice that even as humans, humans were still wearing safety goggles even though they were not going to be fired at. So that was really cool. You know, um, I think that um, the game was a little bit slow because of the whole registration, uh, you know, register your kill kind of system. I don't know about you guys overseas, I want to know how you guys tackle it. So uh, maybe you could, I guess, write your feedback in this comment section below so that I can tell Expire Yoga to come here and read it and then we can all learn from there. Like, what is your experiences, right? So, uh, yeah. Mm. It was a really fun day and I'm really worn out, but it's a, it's a good feeling. I just hope I don't fall sick tomorrow because I have work. It kind of sucks. So, yeah. That brings me to the end of this episode, guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for staying throughout. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And uh, if you're not subscribed, do consider subscribing. Um, 
as I mentioned right at the start of the video, I'm really surprised at the response that I got for Stupid Nerfers. I guess you guys kind of like it. So yeah, there'll be more to come, I promise. I'm going to try and make it a, a monthly thing, yeah? Uh, of course, it won't affect Pwn. As you guys could tell, it was released, you know, as a separate episode of Pwn. Pwn is still on, on, on its uh, weekly schedule. Now, a lot of you guys are actually asking me, you know, which day is Pwn actually released? Uh... I, I have to be honest and I have to apologize to you guys that I can't really fix a date. That's because of the way my life is right now. It's, you know, things at work. I, I do want to put out something weekly for you guys. In the past, I used to film Pwned on either Friday or Saturday and I could get editing done on Sunday mornings and upload it on Sunday night. But uh, now, I usually, you know, get home late from work. So, most of my times, I mean, the free time that I have to mod is usually either Saturday evenings or Sunday during the days. And uh, that is when, uh, you know, I get all my stuff done and I plan out whatever I want to do for Pwn and I will start recording only on Sunday night, which is like right now, this is Sunday night. And uh, depending on the, the time I have, the availability that I have, uh, I would edit it on Monday and or Tuesday. It takes some time to render and then I'll upload it. So usually Pwn comes on in Singapore time. Tuesday or Wednesday so uh, I hope to be able to stick to that schedule but if I don't and if I'm later than that then I really apologize to you guys okay but I'm trying my best you know once a week you know to fill up thank you so much for all your support all those of you who have been supporting me all the way now next week is gonna be Chinese Lunar New Year again uh, in Singapore uh, and I guess around the world what am I talking about right so um, but it would not affect Pwn, just wanted to let you guys know. Yes, I take public holidays and stuff, but Pwn doesn't have a public holiday, right? So uh, I guess I'll leave it at that for this episode. Last thing I'd like to say is make sure that you don't be an FC brother. <laughs> stay cool, stay fresh, stay fly guys, take care, don't fall sick. And uh, remember always to wear your sunblock. And I'll see you at the next episode. Good night and peace. Uh, check it out. This looks like a what we call a storm fire. But if you look closely, it says shoot. It has a battery compartment that has no wires, and uh, there's nothing inside here. This circuit, and uh, apparently it's pretty damn powerful. So I'm gonna try and prime it with one hand. Oh shit! I can't. Oh fuck! I can't. Oh, I can't prime it with one hand. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna. Uh, wow, that's tough. Um. Let's see. Off. There's a wind blowing, so I will just fire the tree. Oh shit!